What's one of the hardest challenges for any AI image generator? No, it's not making stunning images. The real challenge is character consistency. Character consistency means an AI can keep the same recognizable person across different images and situations. And honestly, this is the one thing that separates an AI image toy from a professional creative tool. So today we're answering one simple question. Which AI image generator is actually the best at character consistency right now? Stick around. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which tools are worth using. Let's start simple. A selfie on a rooftop. This is usually where AI already starts to struggle. New background, casual pose, and a lot of room for almost the same face. Nano Banana looks okay, but not perfect. Nano Banana Pro clearly delivers the best result here. Midjourney gets the face roughly right, but it already starts to look a bit plastic, like a very expensive mannequin. Klingo One doesn't deliver good image quality here. GPT, on the other hand, looks the best overall and shows very strong character consistency. Sea Dream gets the character right, but the quality could be better. With all flex models, you can still recognize the person. The expensive Max model looks the best among them, which to be fair, it should. Now let's switch characters and place her at a beach restaurant. Nano Banana again looks okay, but clearly AI generated. Nano Banana Pro looks very photorealistic. Mid Journey is weak here. All tools manage to keep the character recognizable, but GPT clearly delivers the best overall quality. Flux Pro and Max look a bit too realistic, almost exaggerated, while Flux Context struggles slightly with character consistency. Now let's make things harder. This prompt forces the models to adapt, not just copy the reference image. Nano Banana looks okay, but the pole behind her neck looks unfortunate. Nano Banana Pro looks very good, adapting hair and emotions while still keeping the character intact. Mid Journey didn't really know what to do with this one. Klingo One is still weak. GPT again looks very good, strong quality and the character is clearly identifiable. Scene Dream looks also good, but not perfect. All Flex models clearly want to be extremely photorealistic, but end up looking a bit overdrawn. That said, the character is still recognizable, which is the important part. Now, something that should be easy, in theory. Just changing the hairstyle while keeping everything else the same, both Nano Banana models do this correctly, with the Pro model delivering better quality. With Mid Journey, there is a workaround. You can use the Mid Journey editor, select the hair, and only change that while keeping the face untouched. It works, but let's be honest, it's way more effort. All three manage the task, but GPT delivers both the best character consistency and the best image quality. Flux is less convincing this time. The Pro and Max models slightly distort the face, and once you see it, you can't unsee it. Next test, creating a new perspective from an existing image. This should be easy. Spoiler, it's not. Nano Banana handles this very well, especially Nano Banana Pro. Mid Journey does not. Klingo One is actually not bad this time, and Sea Dream also performs well. But GPT is once again the best overall. Flux Pro seems to have no idea what a proper three quarter view is. Flux Max is acceptable. Now for a real stress test push ups. This is difficult because perspective, body position, and facial tension all change at once. Nano Banana Pro is very expressive here. This genuinely looks like real photography. Klingo One still has that plastic touch. Sea Dream performs well this time. GPT takes the safe route by barely changing the character at all. Flux Context doesn't even look like it's doing push ups, but Flux Pro actually looks very good here, almost better than the more expensive Max model. So, which model wins? From my perspective, when it comes to character consistency, Nano Banana Pro and GPT Image 1.5 are currently the top performers. Both can keep a character's identity stable, while placing them into different situations where pose, expression, clothing, hairstyle, lighting, and camera angle all change. There are differences though. Nano Banana Pro is more ambitious and adapts the character more into the situation. 
while GPT keeps the character extremely stable and stays very close to the reference image. Different approaches, both very strong results. Now you can decide which model works better for the way you create. Every image so far was created using one single reference image. A lot of tutorials out there suggest using several reference images of the same character from different perspectives. So the question is, do multiple references help the model or confuse it? Let's test it. Left side, one reference image. Right side, three reference images from different angles. With Nano Banana, there's no big difference. Same with Nano Banana Pro. A single strong reference gives the model one clear target and avoids conflicting cues. With Klingo 1, same result. With GPT, same result. These models don't train characters, they imitate reference images. And the same applies to the other models. So character consistency depends much more on how good your reference image is, not how many you upload. Bonus round, two characters in one image. With Nano Banana, especially for the woman, I wouldn't really call this character consistency anymore. Nano Banana Pro, however, handles it perfectly. Mid-Journey normally allows only one Omni reference, so I stitched both characters into one image to trick it. Mid-Journey accepted it and still delivered the worst result. Kling keeps its plastic look. GPT keeps both faces very well and delivers good quality. Sea Dream is okay in terms of consistency, but the quality isn't perfect. With the Flux models, the cheaper Pro model again outperforms the Max model. Flux context completely fails here. Now let's take a quick look behind the scenes at how these images were created. For GPT images, I used ChatGPT itself. With a Plus subscription you can generate almost unlimited images. Just go to Images, upload your references, enter the prompt. Done. Midjourney can only be used on Midjourney itself. The consistency feature is called Omni Reference. Midjourney is very creative, but character consistency is clearly not its strongest area. At least the standard plan allows unlimited images. For Kling01, I use the Kling platform. I already have a subscription because I often use the Kling 2.6 video model. The image integration into prompts is actually very nice. Unfortunately, the quality doesn't match the top models. For the rest, I used AI platforms that give access to many current models, like Nano Banana, Sea Dream, and Flux. Some models also let you increase the output quality, so let's quickly take a look at that at the end. I tested Nano Banana Pro in 2K and 4K mode. At first glance, very similar. Zoom in, still similar. Zoom in again, okay, the eye is slightly sharper. But honestly, for 4K, I expected more. With GPT Image 1.5, you can't change resolution, only quality. Medium versus high quality looks, very similar. I can't see a big difference here. Sea Dream also allows resolution changes, 2K versus 4K. Again, not a huge difference, but it doesn't look four times sharper. If this comparison helped you, you know what to do. Thanks for watching. Now go out there and create something awesome.